What's up, y'all? True. All right, part one, we left off at uh, him and his brother starting NBA. You know, they own little, they own little label and stuff. So, all right, of course, he get in. He got to go grind hard now, you know. So, he hook up with the infamous uh, Kevin Gates and collab with him. And also the infamous Boosie Badass, his homeboys. And so, you know, things get to popping. But, you know, Gates, uh, it's so much love. They had so much love for him. Y'all y'all wouldn't understand Louisiana love until Gates said, check it out. A tattoo of him on me because I love him. And you can say what you want to, but just in Louisiana, when we love somebody, we appreciate them while they're alive. This son that my son is Ooh, you in that bar. Yeah, okay then. Yep, you get that. He got that goo wop, so he gets signed to Atlantic. <laughs> she hopping. She ain't playing. Hold on. Hey, Animal Tomato Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I got that bed. I'm getting paid for everything I do, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you hear me, Kay? What you doing with him? I thought you ain't playing with him. Hey, I thought you ain't like me. Right around the time he gets signed, all hell break loose. His cousin, I remember his cousin from part one, Boozilla, one that took the dope from a old boy. Don't nobody want to see the Knicks being the head of them. So, like, if you, like, like it, it's, it really be hate for no reason. Like, if you just get to doing your thing, like, if you just get to moving forward, it's going to be unnecessary beef coming from everywhere. Because this man might be rapping and you done passed him up. So now he got all this kind of animosity built up and, you know, it's just be real on something like that. Like, it don't, like, 99% of the beef and beyond don't have no real, real street meaning behind it or nothing. It'd be like something, you know, something like that. And, uh, yeah, he get killed and NBA, NBA go crazy. Uh, and it's all of this is allegedly, I ain't gonna say, but it was, uh, it was wartime, if y'all get that. Yeah. Shoot him up, bang, bang. So, boom, boom, boom. Take this out. Police find a man suffering from a gunshot wound to the neck, saying he was shot in a different neighborhood just a few streets away. So, uh, it's a couple of more things, a couple of more shootings backwards and forwards that happen. I ain't gonna get into all the dead. Just imagine two groups, TBG, BBG, uh, going back to war and shooting after shooting after shooting after shooting all across the state lines. You know, people getting arrested, murders, here, murders, murders, shooting, stabbings, all backwards and forwards until they had eventually had to come down and crack down up and go get NBA young boy. So he goes to jail and the prosecutors want him back in Louisiana. He gets arrested in uh, California. A lot of shit had went down, a lot of killings, a lot, a lot of killings. So Louisiana won't, but imagine hearing these words, the prosecutor's already plotting up, to calling you a menace to society. I mean, you just, people ain't safe when you are, you out. You don't respect any kind of probation. We tell you don't have no guns unless they register. We already know you can't own no guns. You buck all the rules. You get fined with 80,000 guns, cash, drugs, all kind of stuff over and over and over again. And in Louisiana, you know what that means. We want you in the penitentiary at all costs for the rest of your natural life. So, fast forward. Mm, the takedown is in Cali, like I said. Mm, they got him. He can't get back out on bond this time. He been in there ever since, and let me go see what the update is. But uh, rest in peace to all the fallen soldiers, cause it was a, this was war. Y'all got to remember that NBA young boy, it's a young cat. He has been rich from like he's he's I, I think he barely twenty two, but he done laid him down, laid him down, allegedly. But y'all know what's up with it, so. I mean, Louisiana want them, and let me go update this, true. Be right back.
Her NBA young boy was arraigned in federal court this afternoon. It marked his first appearance on federal weapons charges since his arrest in California last month. News Chief John Stephon Springer listened in on that hearing. Yes, Sylvia, that hearing for Control Golden, better known as NBA young boy, lasted less than 20 minutes with Golden pleading not guilty to both charges. NBA young boy was not at the federal courthouse in downtown Baton Rouge Thursday afternoon. He appeared from jail via a video link. The rapper, now behind bars until his trial, was arraigned on two weapons charges after he was picked up in Los Angeles last month. When he was in California, he was out of jail on bond from a September 2020 arrest in Baton Rouge. Los Angeles police tried to arrest him on the federal warrant, but he led them on a high-speed chase and then took off on foot before he was taken into custody. That September 28, 2020 arrest restarted Galton's legal woes. He and others were filming a music video in Baton Rouge when police caught them with guns and drugs. He bailed out of jail the next day. A federal grand jury in Louisiana last month indicted him on possession of an unregistered gun and as a felon in possession of a firearm. Court documents say he had an unregistered 9mm handgun and a Glock 45 caliber pistol during the video shoot. Today, Judge Scott Johnson warned the 21-year-old rapper about the punishment he could face. One count of felon in possession of a firearm could get him a maximum of 10 years in jail, a $250,000 fine, or both. And one count of possession of an unregistered firearm could land him behind bars for a max of 10 years, a $10,000 fine, or both. With his voice barely above a whisper, Galden entering not guilty pleas to both charges. A trial on those federal charges is set for June. As for the state weapons and drug charges, Golden is also facing a motion hearing is scheduled at the 19th JDC next week. Sylvia? Well, there you have it, y'all. What's the lesson in this story? Young, black, rich, and famous. If you don't change, they're going to change you. If you don't change, they might just chain you. And then when they after you, you can call it what you want to. But if it's a dragnet, do the right thing because you know they hate it. And on that note, we're going to let one of his partners tell you what you see from a young black boy with money ain't all that he is. Let him grow up. He going to have to participate. But ain't nobody all bad. True. Y'all check this out. You know what's crazy? He lost two rings last night. Like they fell off his finger. He stopped the show and just to see if we could find the rings or whatever. We couldn't find them. He wasn't really tripping about the rings. He give away jewelry all the time. You know what I'm saying? But he stopped the show three more times to break up three fights. Nobody showed that positive. Told everybody to stop fighting. That hurt that man down in the heart. Like, crazy how the social media do they only put the negative we we'll try to turn him losing his rings into some negative but it really wasn't he was just trying to find the rings but they didn't put it on there when he stopped the show and broke up the three fights you get what i'm saying so that really, really with him me deep down inside like how up the internet is 